Hey guys, John Groves here, and right behind me, you can see the garden tomb, the place where it is most likely that the body of Jesus was placed for three days and three nights after he died on Calvary on Golgotha along the street like a common criminal, not too many feet away from me. His body was placed in a borrowed tomb. Jesus didn't have to be placed in a family tomb. There's no grave marker that says the place of Jesus because he only needed to borrow it for three days and three nights. What's amazing is that this place behind me that is a symbol of death now for millions and millions who come to this location is a symbol of life. How incredible that Jesus, this is the only thing Jesus ever had to borrow. He had everything else. He just had to borrow a tomb. You know, this body that I live in is borrowed too. It's decaying. This body that we live in shows signs of death as we continue to get older and older and older. But the cool thing is that resurrection wasn't just something Jesus did. Resurrection is who Jesus was. And if he lives inside you, this body is just a borrowed tomb. But you get to live forever in fellowship with God, in the presence of Jesus. You get to know life in heaven and in community, in communion with the Father. And that is amazing. So listen, this is a borrowed tomb, just like that is a borrowed tomb. But through Jesus, because of Jesus, we have life. Now I'll tell you what, there's a lot of things that people can question, a lot of things that people can wonder about, but any man who could predict his own death and his own resurrection and actually pull it off, I'm gonna go with anything that he has to say. I'm not a Christian, I'm not a follower of Christ because the Bible tells me so or because so and so told me that I had to. I'm a believer because I came to the place where his body was laid and where it is no longer. He predicted he would die, he predicted he would come back to life, he did it and hundreds saw him and today I have seen the place and I believe now more than ever. He did it and he is who he says he is. And because he is who he says he is, you are not what people call you. You are who he says that you are. Street. Good news. What's the good news, bro? Jesus ain't in here.